Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk more about the larger numbers because it is more difficult, it is more challenging to deal or to handle the larger numbers. Now as we have already discussed that any large number would have various positions of the digits like the units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands, lakh, ten lakh, crore, ten crores and so on. So let us look at an example of a large number. So here you have a large number which is like uh, a, a nine digit number. So here which digit is at the units place or units place is often also known as ones place. So 6 is at the units place, 7 at the tens place, 6 at hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands place. This is at lakh, this is at ten lakh, this is at crore and so on. Now why are these called as units place, tens place, hundreds place and so on? Because when you actually look at the expansion of this number, you would always see that the units digit is multiplied by 1. The tens digit or the digit at the tens place is multiplied by 10. The digit at the hundreds place is multiplied by 100. Thousands place is multiplied by 1000 and so on. So if you want to look at an example, so let us, we, we will see by expanding this number. So when you actually expand this number, what happens? 6 is multiplied by 1 because 6 is at the units place. What about 7? Seven? 7 is multiplied by 10. 6 is multiplied by 100. 5 is multiplied by 1000. 2 is multiplied by 10,000. 6 is multiplied by 100,000. That is basically 10000. So basically you see as you move the side, as you move from units place towards the crores place, the number of zeros keep increasing. So basically with one, here you had one, two, three, four, five zeros. So now you would have six zeros, 10 to the power six. Here you would have 10 to the power seven. And finally here you would have 10 to the power eight. So you see the number of zeros kept increasing. And now when you actually add all of these, you get this number. Right? Like if you look at a smaller number like 676, you can very well write it as 6 into 100 plus 7 into 10 plus 6 into 1. And that's how you get 676. This would be 600, this would be 70, this would be 6. So 600 plus 70 plus 6 is 676. So this is how we expand a number. Now from this, we also see that there exists a relation between the ten, between the digit at the tens place, the digit at the hundreds place, thousands place and so on. So basically 110 is equal to 10 units. 100 is equal to 100 units or 100 is equal to 10 tenths. So that, that's how the relation is, right? So for every place, so as you move each place, a zero increases. So if it is 1, here it is 10, here it is 100, here it is 1000, here it is 10,000, here it is 1 lakh and so on. So with every place, there is one zero increasing. But always remember that the digit on the right, the rightmost digit is the digit at the units place or ones place. So this is how we denote larger numbers. And once you have an idea about this, it becomes easier for you to name larger numbers. Because that was another challenge that we often faced. That how do we name larger numbers? Because it is very easy to say when you have something like this, 48. So you see, I, I told it very easily that this is 48. Similarly, if you have something like this, you very quickly say that this is 250. But instead of this, if I give you a number of nine digits, instantly it might be difficult for you to name that number. So how do we name numbers? Now, in order to name numbers, it is very important that you know the position of each digit because without knowing that, you will never be able to name numbers. So here on the screen, you see an example 71348. So this is at units place, 10, hundreds, 
thousands and ten thousands. Now, once you know this, then it becomes easier to name a number. So what do you have in the thousands place? So you have 7 in 10 thousands and 71 and 1 in thousands. So that would mean that it is actually talking about 71,000. So this would be 71,000. And then what do you have in the hundreds place? You have 3. So 71,000. 300 in the tens place 4 which is going to be 48 because 4 at the tens place that means 4 into 10 which is nothing but 40 plus 8 into 1 which is 8 so this is 48 so overall it is 71,000 348. So th th this is how we will name this number. So let's look at another example. So this is a bigger number. So here you have it at units place, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Then what do you have? Lakhs and ten lakhs. So you see this is like a seven digit number. So it, it's still bigger. So how do you name this? Now that you have done this, so this is at 10 lakhs. That means this has to be something like 54 lakhs because both of these are lakhs. One is 10, one is one, one is one lakh, one is 10 lakhs. So basically this would be 54 lakhs because 50 plus four, that is 54. So this would be 54 lakhs. And how many thousands? It is 39 thousands because these two represent thousands together. So this would be 39 thousands, 810. So this would be 810. So we name this number as 54 lakhs 39 thousands 810. Let's look at yet another number. This is a still bigger number. So unit ten, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs, crores. So this is how we have de determined the position of the numbers. Now, how do you write it? How many crores? Two crores. So it starts with two crores. How many, th how many lakhs? 30 lakhs because both of these represent lakhs. So this would be 30 lakhs, thousands, 95 thousands. So this is 95 thousands. How many hundreds? 610. So this is 610. So this would be 2 crores, 30. 30 lakhs, 95,610. So now I hope you understand that how do we name bigger numbers. So whenever you have a large number, first of all, find the position of each of the digits. Now, once you know the position, then it becomes very easy to write their names. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.